Welcome back to Practice English Conversations, a podcast where we talk about everyday life to help you practice your listening and learn new vocabulary. Today's episode is all about a topic that's pretty common in modern life, dating. Dating culture has definitely changed a lot over the years, especially with the rise of technology and social media. These days, almost everyone is using dating apps to meet new people. It's as simple as downloading an app, swiping through profiles, and hoping for a match. For those of you who aren't familiar with the process, you look at someone's profile, and if you're interested, you swipe right to show you like them. If they swipe right on you too, then it's a match and you can start chatting. While dating apps are super popular, there's another platform that's unofficially become one of the most powerful dating tools out there, Instagram. It's amazing how much flirting happens on Instagram these days. People will like each other's stories, leave comments on posts, or even slide into the DMs. That's a phrase that means sending a direct message to someone privately, often with the intention of starting a conversation or flirting. It's funny because Instagram wasn't even created as a dating app, but now it's become a huge part of how people connect romantically. I know a lot of people who are in happy relationships right now, and they actually met online either through a dating app or social media. It's become such a normal way to meet people. And honestly, I think it's great. Dating apps and platforms like Instagram make it possible to meet people you might not have ever crossed paths with in real life. You can connect with someone based on shared interests, lifestyle, or even just the way they present themselves in their profile. But here's the thing. While dating apps and social media can be great tools for meeting people, it's important to remember that there are real people behind those profiles. It's easy to get caught up in the game of swiping or liking posts, but it's so important to be respectful and polite. Sometimes people swipe just for fun, almost like a hobby or out of boredom. And while that's tempting, especially when it feels like you're just browsing through endless profiles, it's important to check in with yourself about your intentions. If your goal is to find a meaningful, committed relationship, then you need to approach it with a clear mindset. Don't just treat dating apps or social media like window shopping for a romantic partner. Real relationships require effort, respect, and genuine interest in the person you're connecting with. I believe that with clear goals and the right approach, anything is possible. Whether you're using a dating app, sliding into DMs, or just chatting with someone in person, what really matters is how you treat the people you interact with. If you're upfront about what you're looking for and show respect for the other person, you have a much better chance of finding a meaningful connection. It's a modern way of dating, but the basics of building a relationship, kindness, respect, and honesty still apply. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Practice English Conversations. I hope you found today's discussion on dating interesting and maybe learned a few new phrases like swiping and sliding into someone's DMs. Keep practicing and I'll talk to you in the next episode. Are you ready to take your skills to the next level? Check out my online courses and ebooks on linguatrip.com. You can find the link in the description under this episode.